We're back to more. I almost said Elder Scrolls lore because that's what I was just recording. We're back to more uh, Dynasty Wars 8. So yeah, I just got done recording Elder Scrolls lore. Uh, man. So I'm a little. Yeah. <laughs> thought I was doing that. Not doing that. <laughs> oh, wow. All my boys are uh, tired. You're not, it's all red. Nope, neither are you, Taishit C. So, uh, basically, yeah, I've been pretty busy. I, I've honestly been wanting to record, but I've been unable to record because of work. I've been working my ass off. Um, so, that's what I've been doing. Haven't had much time to record lately. So I got that down. Uh, last, I only had, I used the last of Dynasty Wars last, this week. So now I need to record more Dynasty Wars because I don't have anything to fall back on. But, um, yeah, there's something, something I'm working on, something big I'm working on. So, trying to get that done too. I got the script down for that already. You'll guys find out what that is soon enough. But... Alright, just making sure I can get all this. You know, there's actually something... There's something satisfying. I'm pretty sure I bought a weapon, still didn't use it, equip it. Um, there's something very, very satisfying about hinting at stuff in these videos. Because th these are the less popular videos. So there's something very satisfying on something, uh, of hinting at something very big in a smaller video. And then, like, people not knowing about it. It's just, I don't know, I, I get a kick out of it. Something interesting coming soon. To a theater near you. Not a theater near you. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll, we'll defend this. Um, we'll probably go invade. At least one area. And I'll be it for this part. Like I said, we're keeping these things short. What's up, Wayan? Alright, I gotta get out the horse. Oh, man. I do a lot of damage. I got him. Holy shit. That butt mashing gets real at some points, dude. <laughs> like, I'm not... It does not adapt to be like smacking those buttons. But, uh, yeah. I plan on doing something pretty large soon. Um, it'll be fun. I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going to happen. I won't, I won't reveal what it is now, but I'm, I'm hinting at something big coming up. But yeah, you know what? It's I got some nice videos out today. I I probably recorded my my favorite Elder Scrolls lore video today. Um, I'm super excited about. It. I had a lot of fun doing it today. Um, believe actually, it will one of probably two of my favorite ones actually. One of them is going to be already out. It'll be by the time this video comes out. It's the car stag one. The car stag one was super fun to do. Um that one was just a different style of how I started doing things. So by like it's different I, I, it's weird to say cuz it's not it's like a different style but not a different style. It's a different way I did things. I uh, recorded things and it was really interesting to do. It was a lot of fun. But, uh, other than that, this is, uh, this is a lot of, like, this video is coming out when a lot of gaming news is coming out. Fallout 76 was announced, which is, uh, crazy, because I love Fallout 4, and I love, I'm a big fan of the Fallout series in general. Um, now, I, I don't know how I feel about an MMO. A Fallout MMO, I don't know how I feel about that. I really don't. Um, I 
We're gonna go help everyone out. Let's go. Now, <clears throat> the thing is with the Fallout MMO, <clears throat> I really like the story esque, the story arcs of Fallout. And Fallout 76 is supposed to be one of the first times people are outside of the vault in Fallout. Right? Um, I don't know how I feel about that being an MMO. I don't want an MMO. Like, Elder Scrolls, Skyrim, uh, Elder Scrolls Online was definitely interesting to say the least. Um, it's a game I would play much, much more if I, if I, I'm trying to like think of the right words. It's a game I played much more if I had friends to, that played the game as well. I don't have any friends that play the game. Anyone that, I, that I've ever played the game with, I've met on that game. And I just think that if... I don't know, I have a weird thing where I don't... I don't necessarily go out of my way to, like, find people to play games with. It's weird. It's not like, it's not like I refuse to play games with other people. I play a lot of games with other people. It's just a lot of people... Well, um, a lot of people will just like. Wait, do we lose? What the hell? I can't see on my map. Ah, fuck that. Fuck this. We're going in. We're taking them out, everyone. What's up, bitch boy? Get out of here. No. No, now it's time to realize that you guys fucked up. What's up? Yeah, I saw you could just waltz in this place. All oh, the frames! <laughs> yeah, bitch. Yeah, here. I need some health. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I need a little bit of health. Uh, but yeah, Fallout's a game that's traditionally single player. Don't know how I feel. I always get sidetracked by like playing, so I'm sorry. Um, what else? Um, Crackdown Three, I heard, wasn't gonna come out. That's a little disappointing. I guess. Uh, I'm not a big Crackdown fan. Crackdown 2 I've played. Which was kind of forgettable. Uh, I only played it because it was free for gold. And me and my buddy Danny. Uh, we both were able to get it. And we would just play that together. Because that was the only game we had that we both had together that we would play. Uh, it was that and NHL 14. <laughs> That's all we would play. Um, so... Yeah, that was definitely, it's definitely something interesting to see. Um, the Crackdown's not going to be coming out. There's uh, another big announcement. Um, I'm trying to think what the other announcement was. I, I cannot recall what the other announcement was. There's been a lot of game news this week. Because E3 is coming up, and I want... Oh, the Assassin's Creed thing's coming out. I don't know. I told myself I wasn't going to get Origins. <clears throat> uh, and then I only got it because I ended up getting being able to trade Wolfenstein 2 with it. And I know it's a fairly unpopular opinion that everyone and their mother loves Wolfenstein 2. 
Uh, that's that's a popular opinion, but it's not popular opinion that I have that <clears throat> Wolfenstein 2 was very very let down downy. I, it let me down so hard. I, it was probably one of the biggest letdowns I've had in all all last year, and it was I was so upset by it. It really did make me mad when I when I found out that was the ending. Because people people keep dismissing the six hour long game campaign uh, for the fact that it was a fun game to play for those six hours. That doesn't excuse the fact that it's a six hour game. People roasted the shit out of um, the Order 1886 because of the fact that it was uh, a six hour game with cutscenes. And I just feel that it's unacceptable to Despite, I know it is. I know it for. I know that. I was not able to use. Jump, jump. Oh my god, I can't jump. That's what I want to use. I know it's different when you when you try to compare a game, uh, that six hours with cutscenes with you know um. With a game that's you know obviously has better mechanics, better everything. Because, in my opinion, that game was not flawed. Wolfenstein 2 was amazing to play. It was difficult. It was fun. It was, cha it had everything you need in a good game except for duration. And the duration was crap. It was six hours long with barely any replayability. And I thought that was awful. I didn't appreciate. I felt like I was being taken for a, like a fool, pretty much. And you know, agree or disagree with me or not, uh, a six hour game is not acceptable for a, for a triple A game. It just, it made me upset that I, I felt like I was getting robbed in a sense because I, I spent so much money on this game and that's, I mean, that being said, I was able to trade Wolfenstein 2 in and get, um, <clears throat> And, and get uh, Origins. Uh, that is the only reason I, I actually was, you know, got, I actually got Origins. Now, Origins, again, was also not a letdown, but it didn't, like, wow me. I, wa I watched a lot of reviews about Origins. People made a lot of um, boasts and claims and how it was so good. It was all this and this and all that. Um,. It's not a game built from the ground up, like they say. It feels, feels very, very, very Assassin's Creed. Um, it's very typical Assassin's Creed. Combat's different, yes. Um, uh, combat's different. It feels a bit different in terms of playstyle. Um, obviously, it's targeting more... Um, it has a more Dark Souls-y combat feel and more RPG-esque feel. Um, besides that, oh, look at that, they captured the main camp and I defeated everybody, it, it's just, it wasn't, it wasn't anything new, it's everything we've seen, <clears throat> wow, I really fucked that up. It was everything we've seen, though. It's not. It's nothing I saw, thought was new. And sorry, man. I want the. I want the officers that are, no, uh, special. <laughs> I, I guess I don't know. Yeah, well, a lot of game news on that. I just hiccuped. All right. Again, the wall console. No diplomacy this time. Um, you were gonna invade. Form an alliance. Weapon forge. Want to see? Like, yeah, I've definitely bought spears. They're just not equipped. Well, we got to invade, obviously. 
<coughs> I, think, I think this is a good one, Jang Liu. Yeah, I like this. Yep, that's where we're going. We're gonna be here. Oh, I need a break. Rip. Well, we'll great bank, great banquet it then. Get all the officer accounts up. Daughter, I forgot to name her Lola. La 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 Lola. Probably made the same stupid joke too. Um. I want to do rumors. Alliance. Um. Well, now that people are carving out their kingdom. Yep, send you there. Alright, cool. Thank you. No. Shishu really wants to, you know, get his bottom dollar there. And I'm still not recovered. Um, me. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm trying to invade. There we go. I'm healthy. And so should everyone else. The bulk of the main army. Should be healthy and ready to go. It's alright. If we take the daughter, we'll take the daughter out. She's a high ass level. So, yeah. I don't know. I've been having a craving to play a really. I want. I want a new game. So I always have these things where I want to play a new game, and before I forget, <laughs> before I forget, how'd that happen? Yeah. I got the double vowel, right? I'll take that. So okay, yeah, all right. So now that I finally changed that, um, I've been having—I always get a craving to play new games, and my favorite game game style being RPG games. Um, I love RPG games. They're my favorite to play, favorite to uh, mess around with, my favorite to do pretty much anything with, right? Um, basically, I've been having a need to play a new game like that, like a game like Mass Effect or a game like uh, Dragon Age or um, what's a good one, Witcher, the Witcher great games, something like that. You guys get my point. And that's why I was kind of hoping that at E3, you know, Elder Scrolls 6 would be announced. Or something would be teased. Something, just anything. Because I think we're literally about to go an entire generation without Elder Scrolls. And that's going to break my freaking heart. Um, honestly, that will break my heart. Um, to get a whole generation with no Elder Scrolls would absolutely devastate me. I love the Elder Scrolls series, and the fact that they just won't say anything about it is making me mad. And I get it. I get it. You know, you want to do other projects. You want to do other things. You want to do something new and fresh. You want to keep things going. 
but there are a lot of people that are hinging on, you know, Elder Scrolls, and I, I don't think many people were asking for Elder Scrolls Online when it initially came out, and when it first came out, it was crap. So, in my opinion, give the people what they want, Elder Scrolls 6. I don't know, that's me. But, it is 2018, right? The fact that we might have to wait till 2021 to get another Elder Scrolls is a long, long time. I will be out of college by then. And maybe still, I will probably be still doing this. Um, <laughs> hopefully, I'd like to just still be doing this, you know. Uh, but with that being said, um... Like, I don't want to wait that long for an Elder Scrolls game. I really don't. It's, I get that at some point you want to start doing something new, but you can't just forget about a franchise. I don't think anyone want, cares uh, to get Elder Scrolls, like no one wants to like, you know, forget about the Elder Scrolls, but when you don't talk about something for so long, and you put something off for so long, is there really a fan base left there to, that are still going to be dedicated to getting and playing your game? Um, obviously, The Elder Scrolls has such a massive fandom. I love The Elder Scrolls, and I still play Skyrim, and I still play... Eh, I don't know if I still play The Elder Scrolls Online. I still play it somewhat. If I had more people to play it with, I would. But, basically, like, I feel like if they want to keep the hype it's got, it, they have to talk about it a little bit more than they are, because they, re they really, I just feel like they're not talking about it. Which is disheartening. Because I love the Elder Scrolls. I, it's, it was my, Skyrim was my favorite game for so long. And then the fact that they just don't talk about it makes me sad, and I want more of it, and they just won't give me more. So it's like, why? You know, it just, it's, I don't know, I get a little upset about it. I'm sure everyone does. But, you know, I know that what, if Elder Scrolls Six came out, it would help me boost my own channel. Me being predominantly uh, a Elder Scrolls channel. I do other stuff besides gameplay, or besides Elder Scrolls, but I, you know, obviously I do, I do gameplays, I do walkthroughs, do a lot of stuff. But, uh... At the end of the day, my biggest series is Elder Scrolls lore. And I would have kept on with Dark Souls lore. I just, there wasn't, the test video I did wasn't very successful uh, compared to, you know, what I thought it would be. Everyone was seemed keen on Dark Souls, more Dark Souls, I want Dark Souls. When I put it out, it just wasn't there. And it was a test video, and I told it would be out within the month. The next video would be out, and that um, it, it I would have the next video out, and I put the next video out, and it did worse than the first one. So I was like, okay, um, I don't know if I want to keep up with a series that I, a it's uh, a I know nothing about Dark Souls. I really don't. I'm the last person to tell you about Dark Souls. Um, B. Um. I felt that if, you know, hey, this dude does not want to go. I felt that if it was going to do well, the second video would have done just as well, or if not better. Um, and it just did not, and so. Oh, come on. Alright, you wanna play that game? Let's go. I'll play your game. Oh, yeah! No, I didn't just arrive. <laughs> ah! No!
so that's predominantly why if like you're wondering about Dark Souls lore uh, I don't believe I'll be continuing on with Dark Souls lore just because of the fact that it wasn't popular like I believed it would be um so that's the series if anything is on hiatus I don't know if I'll continue on with it but all right that is we're executing your old ass I'll let you go I didn't mean to execute him I won't lie And with that, we have, oh, we got a cutscene. Yeah, I don't hear anything because it's all in Chinese. Me and my advisor walking around. The city is prospering. That dude is, like, my guy is super freaking jacked. I, I would die if I was that big. I want a rice bun. The armor, I don't think we're even, are we, do we wear blue? I don't even remember if we wear blue. very quiet <laughs> all right within two years quick and decisive that is it for this video hope you guys enjoyed please like and subscribe if you want more uh which you'll get more probably but yeah i will see you guys in the next video peace